everyone, welcome back to day two. Today we're adding on from yesterday where we started to add a little bit of mobility into the lower back. Day two, we're gonna be looking at adding in more stretching, really stretching out those deep muscles around that area, those postural supportive muscles to help reduce stiffness and tightness. So to kick off day two, we're already going into the more advanced version of the knee hug. Same as what I said in day one, only take it as far as you feel comfortable. So any issues with the hips, you either want to skip this one or just reduce the range. So don't pull it so high up towards your chest. We're going to aim to do this for about 10 to 15 seconds. So you're going to bring them up towards your chest and just sway side to side. And then we're going to draw some circles with the hips and the back. So what this is doing is as you bring it up to the chest, it's stretching out that lower back and then that circular motion is stretching and moving down into the glutes and into the pelvis so you want to aim to either do this for 10 to 15 seconds one way and then change directions or if you prefer you can count circles so 10 circles one way 10 circles the other way it just the idea is getting that lovely movement into the lower back once we've done that we're then going to do a one-sided stretch up towards the chest again for a lot of people this might be too much what you want to make sure is the other leg is dropped down straight and you're pulling it up towards your chest aiming to hold this between 10 to 15 seconds as we change bring the other knee up just so it's a little bit more comfortable and then bring this down what you might want to do is instead of dropping the leg straight you might want to keep it slightly bent still just to help with this movement but you want to feel it pulling around the back of the glutes into the lower back and relaxing through Next, we're going to stretch for the performance. So you're going to clasp behind the back of the knee. Again, going straight into that advanced stretch. If this is too much, go back to the previous video where we let the foot remain on the floor and you're just letting that foot drop across for the piriformis stretch. Aim for 10 to 15 seconds on one side and then repeating on the other side. Again, the aim of day two, similar to day one, is starting to add in that lovely movement, that lovely stretching regularly into the lower back when you start the day.